You're watching Telecom TV from TM Forum Live 2017 in Nice. I'm joined now by Catherine Michel of Sigma Systems and Jamie Richardson and Fawad Nazir, both of Telstra. Thank you all for joining us on Telecom TV. Now, the three of you are participating in one of the TM Forum's Catalyst programmes. Jamie, if I could start with you, what are the business issues that this particular catalyst is seeking to address? Yeah, sure. I guess there's a general acknowledgement in, in the industry that we're moving, well and truly moving into the digital space. Um, Telstra as a service provider or an operator realizes that we need to respond to that digital economy or that digital era with dynamic and agile offers to our customers. Um, at present, we can't really compose or curate an offer and get it into market anytime under three months. And that's really hamstringing uh, the business and, and the revenue opportunity and the growth opportunity. So through Offer Canvas, we really hope that we can you know, build a mechanism to help our customer-facing uh, proponents of the business to really, to really get in and, and compose and create campaigns and marketable offers that really, uh, that really ensure revenue for Telstra in the future. Um, I think at the moment it's, there's a high dependency on things like network and IT business units. We want to extract some of the complexity, some of the reliance on those types of business units out and into the customer-facing business. So Fawad, what is the solution that you have come up with to address these problems? Yeah, so, so we were partnering with uh, Orange, AT&T, uh, British, Tele British Telecom. So all the service providers, uh, I mean, you know, came up with the same problem, that they were, had same similar pain points. Then we said, okay, now we have to join our hands with some of the participants who can bring the uh, solution to life. So we, we started working with Ericsson, we, uh, Oracle, uh, Sigma, Enterprise Web, and Infosys. And we came up with a solution for our business owners so that they can put the offers to the market faster, right? And the solution comprised of three elements, uh, the scene time architecture, a uh, 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 design time architecture, and runtime architecture. So the scene time is where they can analyze the information and, and, and come up with seg segments that they want to target and the offer they want to take to the market. And design time is where they design new offers and runtime is where the customers can actually order those offers in near real time. Yeah. And Catherine, what is Sigma's role in the project? So Sigma's role is pretty critical because essentially we are the offer canvas within the solution and really what that means is, as, as Jamie was talking about, digital has made the catalog really come of age and this notion that I can componentize whatever type of service capability I offer as a business into a, a rational data semantic repository that I can then expose in a, in a simpler fashion to the business in order to construct, recreate, recompose different product offers in response to the analytics um, across the infrastructure. And so we are the catalog, we at the design time, we are the offer canvas, we're also the APIs that expose that catalog and the data that sits within it into the rest of the BSS and OSS. And if you look at sort of where catalog is in terms of importance for the industry today, um, it is pretty fundamental to the transformation into digital. Um, if you look around at some of the other catalysts that Sigma are participating in, um, such as the Apex Omni Channel, catalog is really underpinning how I can expose different offers to different channels under my control. Um, alternatively, where we have the sponsored data catalyst, uh, which is with Orange and NTT, that's all about introducing new business models on top of interesting and different dimensions to digital services. So catalog really is sort of the, the, the linchpin in all these new types of, of service capabilities and digitalization. So a final question to all three of you. How important is the TM Forum's Catalyst program? Catherine. TM Forum is absolutely essential to this level of collaboration. I mean, if you think about the number of participants in this catalyst, there's a very short amount of time which we came together, so six weeks um, in, in terms of bringing this solution to life and actually working. Um, it's the collaboration environment, but it's also the standards. It's this notion that we're all working under the same understanding of the interaction between applications. I guess through the team forum, it really enables us to you know, propose a solution and get a solution underway in a lot quicker time frame than what we would be able to do internally. Um, typically, we don't have the access to the, to the skilled resources um, that the team forum community has, and the ability to collaborate is really beneficial to our business. I think uh, the reason why we came to team forum was initially to collaborate, right? Because we knew that there are multiple service providers who are coming to TM Forum. They are all the participants and the vendors coming to this community as well. And, and, and we, we can meet those people and we can you know, exchange our ideas. 
as well as the team from assets, the open APIs and the SID models and the TAM models, they have been playing a very critical role to, to bring this solution to life, yeah. So definitely TM Forum has played a critical role in, 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 in bringing this to life, yeah, 100%. Farwad, Jamie and Catherine, thank you all very much indeed. Thank you. Right, thanks a lot, thank you.